So in the last video, I talked about quantifying uh, your body weight training versus quantifying weight. The fact is we can quantify body weight training just as much as we can quantify weight training, but ultimately we're quantifying something that's only related to what's really important, which is muscular tension, and uh, still trying to figure out a way to quantify that. But with body weight training, I know you're saying, well, how do I quantify it? Well, there's many different ways that we can uh, alter the technique of any exercise to make it more difficult. But for the most part, there's three big ways that you can alter almost any exercise, okay? First and foremost, we have angle to gravity or movement against gravity. So things like push-ups on an elevated surface versus doing push-ups on the floor. The closer you get to the floor, the harder this is. So sure, we can quantify this just fine. I do this all the time with Smith Machine where people are having trouble doing like push-ups on the floor or if they're like doing push-ups like this kind of thing. So I'll have them start off with a closer, narrower technique and then move them closer. So you can quantify just what level on you, are you on the Smith Machine. Sometimes I'll do it on plyo boxes. Our plyo boxes can be flipped so they're three different heights. So I'm like level three, level two, or level one. So we can certainly quantify the angle to gravity. Center line is another thing. So a lot of the, the principles in like convict conditioning are like, if you wanna get stronger, everything comes closer. Push-ups get closer, pull-ups get closer, squats get closer. Everything that gets closer to your center line is going to require more tension in the muscles. Again, you can quantify this. I put like rings of tape up on the pull-up bar for my clients here, and I tell them, okay, your pinky is on the furthest reaches of the tape. Okay, and then after a week, they're like, okay, now it's the next finger, and the next finger, and the next finger, and then eventually they're right here. So we can quantify it that way. Uh, you can put markings on the floor, uh, where I used to take just a tape measure, and I used to say, okay, my, there's uh, you know six, 10 inches between my hands with push-ups. Now nine, now eight, now seven, now six, and so on and so on. Again, it doesn't matter what the numbers actually represent. We get stuck in our mind of like pounds matter. Like, well, you're measuring pounds. Yes, but pounds are not tension. Pounds are not actually resistance. You can have 20 pounds on one weight machine, but it's a different level of resistance than 20 pounds on another weight machine. Uh, so it doesn't matter if you're measuring inches or angles or degrees or steps or whatever, as long as it's something you can measure and then know that you're making progress to. It's kind of like with the body fat testers and my clients here. They ask me always, you know, is that very accurate? I'm like, no, but it doesn't have to be. It doesn't really matter what that number is. It doesn't even matter what the number uh, is, is in uh, percentage or pounds or grams or whatever. Just if it goes down, you're getting leaner. That's all you really care about. And then finally, we have unilateral shift. So things like my overlap push-ups. I was doing push-ups here, and now I'm getting a little bit more weight on one hand with the overlap push-up. And yes, I'm, I'm uh, quantifying this because I went from here, and then I went from one finger overlap, two finger overlap, three finger overlap, four, you know, and then I can be like, okay, so I have slight palm contact with the floor, then I have contact with my thumb, then full on, you know, so there's tons of ways that you can quantify any body weight exercise with just a little creativity and know-how. So these are your master ones. Of course, there's more smaller ones that we can use, limb length, that sort of thing, but these are also the easiest to quantify. Let me know if you have questions on specific exercises down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Till then be fit, live free.